Subi, I really love that point you just made. I think the silent consistency is what brings teams over the top. And when you have players who can contribute, even if they're not the highlight, like you said, you know, they were doing their job, but we weren't paying attention to them the same way we were with Creams. Of course, spotlight is different, but I think that's the key, right? And I didn't mean any disrespect when I was talking about Percy of course Jordan not. And, of course and, you know, the, the, the fact that they didn't stand out, it was because you have such an X factor at their sub, who, like you said, showed up, did his job. But the silent consistency, it's the unsung hero part that really stands out at the end of the day. You can look at Ixo as that kind of representative. As a guy who doesn't have great numbers, but he's doing everything you need from him. And when he does put up great numbers, it makes it even better at the end. Starting off board, we are with Jordan. As the ball will now be carried towards midfield, he's extending it down for Percy. But it's a nice demo. And that's going to be a two-man advantage. And back into the corner of Omni Nation for now. As we slow things down, and Zookeepers will have control as they push it into the corner. And this is where they had problems last season was the offensive end. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. Great play by Percy, but Unfortunately, the defender swoops in, saves the day for the Zookeepers, and a good clear downfield from Tool. Way to read the defense, get it over two players' heads, and get that ball into the orange half. Of course, if you guys are just joining us, Omni Nation, formerly known as Affinity, and Zookeepers, who have congratulations to them, have just been picked up by RBG Esports. Still running under Zookeepers tag for now, but Omni Nation played last week, of course, 1-1-0, one, one, oh, and now will be moving in as a 1-0 start into the lead, looking to make it a 2-0 series lead, but they have to get through Zookeepers, which of course have played last season, placed ninth. Not great, but it's good enough to bring you back here. Ball moving in towards Omni's half, and it's going to get pushed out towards mid. Now Bambi will send it back the other way. Let's see if anyone's able to follow up. I believe Porklet will be there. He will. Doesn't get a carry off, and Percy knocks it away. Now up a pass. It's going to be sent back into the corner before anyone really gets a good challenge on it. And it feels like Omni Nation is just kind of seeing what the Zookeepers are bringing to the field right now. They're just playing patiently, just playing back. A little hesitant. Here comes Magic Bear. Fires on target, but Bambi there for the save. Good defensive rotations, and Percy has options available. Elected to take the shot himself instead of passing. They have wanted another opportunity, but the offense starting to get moving for the Omni Nation. It's the ball's in blue half. Omni's really spreading the floor, getting that ball pushed around, creating those passing lanes that really allows them to chip away at the Zookeeper's defense. And they've done it last week, they'll do it here as well. And that's one of the things you have to look out for. Ball off the back wall is going to be knocked away. And now Porklet goes up for the challenge. He does get a nice hit, but it's Tool on the other side who has to flip back and over the top is Bambi. Back to midfield. This Tool will follow in pursuit. He will grab it. It's challenged and won by Omni Nation. And Tool knocks it back to midfield. Now up for Omni to grab. Good cut there from Bambi on that side wall off the backboard. But Percy there for the read. Good clear downfield. Tool's there up on that side wall. And again, the side wall passes trying to come into play. But they're too long. The defenses are able to sniff it out. But here's an opportunity. Coming out for the Zookeepers, three on one, but great defense on that back wall from Magic Bear to get the clear. Ball still in control of Omni as he pushes it up. Now carrying, oh, it's a big carry, and he's able to get it through, and Magic Bear strikes first. Thought for a second there was gonna be a bit of a contest on the goal, but he's able to sneak it by, just bounces off the left bar, and Magic Bear showing up. Coming out with the one. Great carry there from Jordan to go around the defender to the left and pass that ball off the side post. Open net for Magic Bear and making a statement for himself, getting his first goal of the Rival Series here in game number one. It's a quick demo off the face off, which could lead to another open opportunity. But nothing for now. Still a minute 45. Game one almost completely done. Still a 1 0 lead. Bambi now following. And it's poked away by Magic Bear back downfield as Porklet responds. And still Omni Nation doing a good job of controlling the pace. As they've been known to do before, a challenge on the ball, but it's won by the Zookeepers. And now they're Woo! in transition. They could get a good goal here. Wasn't able to flip it over the defender, and it gets poked out. Omni Nation doing a good job on defense, and one of the things we talked about with them is their ability to get ahead and kind of stay back and have some lackluster transitional defense. What are you seeing from them off the start? Right off the start, the patience, just letting Zookeepers come forward to them, just daring them to outplay them. And so far, Zookeepers haven't really shown too much on offense. There's been no passes, and Percy can't sneak that one in. Porklet gets the clear. But one thing that 
I noticed last week from Omni Nation was there wasn't a ton of infield passes on offense, and I want to see this game if that changes because zookeepers are absolutely susceptible to those. That soft touch was looking for a follow-up, but Tool wasn't really able to put any spin on it. And that lackluster power will punish you sometimes, like it did there. Ball now cleared away. Up for a challenge, but it's going to be Omni Nation who wins it for now. Back off the back wall, and that's a good hit down. Tool now trying to see if he connected to the top of the post, and here comes the shot. Porklet tying it up at one apiece. Just a barrage of shots here, just under 30 seconds. Good poke there from Tool off the backboard, and Porklet there for the follow. Love the all-out offense there, realizing 30 seconds to go down by one. This could be their final opportunity. And because of that, they tie this game up. Zookeepers winning the challenge off the side of the wall, really set that play up. And they followed it into a goal to tie this game up with 10 seconds. Tool now sends a booming clear into the corner of Omni Nation. Now back up at middle field. He's got Magic Bear carrying by himself. Had no boost, looked like he might have been able to juggle it home, but it gets sent away. And we're gonna go to overtime for our first series of the North American spot. And it's gonna be Zookeepers who have control off the start. Perfect way to start the afternoon. Porklet, great pass towards midfield, but no one there. Tool had already rotated back, but he's gonna keep this pressure, just fire another shot on target. But that's turning the ball over all the way downfield. No one there for the redirect, and this is dangerous. Ball down the field, but it's off target. Gonna allow Omni Nation to rotate back to defense. Nine times out of 10, Omni Nation should be able to recover on that. Ooh, a little bit of a dangerous one. But now Tool's gonna see if he can extend this play. Nope, it's gonna be off the back wall, and Omni Nation will easily grab that, but Bambi wants some part of it. Now into the corner of Zookeepers we go, but Tool's gonna cut it off at midfield. Following underneath, that's another nice hit. Wait, can he get there in time? No, sir, Percy will knock it out. No goal for you. Still, about a minute into this overtime, and no one has really put a shot down yet. Like the pressure so far from the Zookeepers, keeping this ball in the orange half, refusing to let go of this. Just making Omni Nation use a ton of boost here. And the Zookeepers have done a great job so far on that back right boost pad of Omni Nation. They've stolen that quite a few times so far. It's allowed them to kind of play the ball right down the middle of the field, which can be dangerous, but if you do it right, keeps the boost out of Omni Nation's corner. Jordan's still kind of hovering on defense. Percy with a big move and clear. And now it's a chance for Omni Nation to get some ground back. They've been stuck in their half for about a minute and 35. There it now is. Now here comes a shot down, but it's blocked away. Magic Bear with a big save. Hits it again. Zookeepers get control, but it's Percy on the other side. He doesn't touch it. And back into the corner of Omni Nation before it gets sent the other way. Good poke from Jordan all the way downfield. Makes Porklet use a bunch of boost to get back. Looking for the demo as well, but Magic Bear, great challenge. Good 50-50 in the corner. This ball's up. Porklet in the air. Can he make connection? Yes, he does. Gets it towards midfield. And once again, back and forth play. Neither team willing to budge on defense. Jordan recognized the bad angle and he allowed Magic to rotate over. Here comes Bambi with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And it looked like it's it open. might have been there. No one's able to follow up. Oh, he's not able to knock it through as the good defensive hold from Omni Nation will keep them in this overtime. Magic Bear still hovering back. They are turtling in their own side. Zookeepers, this relentless attack has not led to anything yet. Omni Nation, I'm not sure how they're still managing this, but they have yet to give up. Oh, Percy just barely got beat out there by Tool. That's gonna lead to a turnover. And great challenge from Bambi to keep this in the orange half. And Porklet again. I am loving the aggression we're seeing right now from the Zookeepers just forcing Omni Nation to try and get those booming clears over their head. And so far, that's not worked well at all. One could argue they have a lot more to prove than Omni Nation. One probably is right. They're playing like it now. Three minutes have passed in this overtime, and no one has scored yet. Maybe that'll change in the next couple of seconds as Magic Bear gets a soft hit up. Off the back wall is Porkett. He's going to carry by himself. Percy knocks it away back to midfield. We might close into the four minute mark before we see any kind of oh. shot down. There goes one. Not able to follow up as Bambi. It was just off the side of the post. Now Porkley gets a shot, and Porkley gets the goal. Zookeepers punching it in. 
they take the overtime 2-1. Beautiful infield, infield pass here from Tool and a better shot coming out from Porklet. Perfect accuracy to find that upper left 90 and Zookeepers. Offense was definitely present here in their first matchup of the Rival Series. Finding shots, not a problem, and they withheld against Omni Nation. The longer you push and push and push after that defensive hold, the more opportunities you're gonna have for one person to slip up, one person to not pay attention. One of these times, one of those cracks will show through. Omni Nation just could not get out of their own half. For like the majority of that overtime, they struggled to find a shot opportunity. They struggled to clear the field. They struggled to find lanes of which to pass that ball. And you got to tip your hat to Zookeepers, just relentlessly going shot after shot, controlling the boost on the left hash, and finding ways to make a play. Yeah, and they controlled the boost not only at midfield and not only that back right corner that I called out, but also back left corner. They were controlling every single big boost pad that's on yeah. the field. All of them were in favor of the Zookeepers there. And it resulted in Omni Nation not being able to break out, no transition offense whatsoever. And I really liked Zookeepers. They would break rotations every now and then to just put a touch on the ball just so Omni Nation couldn't get that booming clear of their heads just to 50-50 it. And that was the difference maker. That was the difference maker in yeah. this match was just that constant aggression that we didn't see last season from them. Yeah, it's really hard to break out when you can't even get control of your own boost. Like when you can't find a way to move towards midfield, whether or not you're trying to carry, just get yourself out there and create momentum. You can't do it if you don't have a boost. And you got to really tip your hats to Zookeepers. They came out really, really hot the start of game one. They responded with a goal and they were able to move it into overtime and stall Omni Nation from getting any kind of momentum. Now, moving into game two, let's see if they can continue that same success here. It's into the corner of Omni Nation before it gets shot downfield. Looks like a passing opportunity, but Percy wasn't able to really make anything happen. And Jordan now will carry from his own side. Trying to set up a play for Percy and he makes a defender miss. Ball in a precarious spot. Porklet flies over, and here comes Omni Nation. And Jordan was looking for a defender to take out of the picture. Got him out of the net, and Percy strikes the open target. This is what we were looking for in that overtime. Creating passing lanes, creating abilities to find a spot, a weakness in Zookeeper's defense. They did it. They moved the ball past midfield. They were able to clear out a couple of defenders, and they punched that one through. Again, like game one, now up 1-0. Can they hold on? Oh, another bump! Jordan, another one in the goal. And my goodness, the aggression on display from Omni Nation. Seems like they might have woken up a little bit. Now up 2-0. And we still have four minutes to play. So strap yourselves in, guys. It's going to be a long one. Up for a challenge. Oh, no. That could be another goal. Are you kidding me? Oh. Just bounces out by the luck of the draw. Here comes Magic Bear trying to follow it up for three. We, we haven't even hit the minute mark. We could have been looking at three goals. This ball is up for a challenge. It's sent into the corner. Tool now responds, sends it back the other way. And Percy will get a booming clear. Bambi sends it back to Magic Bear, who tries to pass it out to his teammate. And they get sent into the corner of Omni Nation. Jordan slowing it down. Trying to find a player in midfield. That's a big demo. Now into the corner of Zookeepers. Here comes a passing opportunity. It's, it's centered, but it's right behind a teammate. That was Jordan in a bad situation. Couldn't get a good hit. Tool turns that ball over at midfield, but there's Bambi. Just booms it back into the offensive half of Omni Nation. And right now, Omni Nation doing so well on offense now that they can finally get it started. And the answer to that was a few demos, just to keep the Zookeepers on their toes. And one thing that we saw last week when Omni Nation was playing against the Warriors was, hold that thought, because that ball's in net. Porklet finds the open target, and this was the point that I was about to make. Omni Nation, very aggressive in offense, and those booming clears, if they're on target, that's what's gonna happen. That's how you get punished. We've seen that a couple of times today. Just going for an extremely aggressive push and you leave three players out, you can't fall back that easily. Here comes another booming clear with some potential. Gets knocked away and that could be a second goal all blocked just at the last second. Jordan with the save. Great diving save on the goal line and numbers for Omni Nation. Percy can't get it over Tool. 
great 1v1 defense, but this ball's off that back wall, and Bambi, it's a last second touch, but Omni Nation starting to heat up in the offensive zone. Get, grab that boost steal as well, but Tool carrying this down that side wall slows it down and gonna turn into offense for the Zookeepers. What I'm seeing from Omni Nation that we didn't see last game was controlling midfield. They've done it perfectly. Here comes another opportunity. It's knocked away. Did they find a way to stay at midfield? Yes, they Another demo. They've been punished before. Not this time. Magic Bear with another goal. Now makes it 3-1. And so many times when you think they're going to get punished with a booming clear, it shows you that if you continue to put pressure in midfield and you make Zookeepers uncomfortable, you can find open nets now up by two. I think Omni Nation have found the Achilles heel of the Zookeepers. And if you take one member out of defense, the rest will follow. And Percy sneaks it under the crossbar. And Omni Nation go up by three. Yeah, and this was the Omni Nation we were looking to see in game one. This is what we saw from them last week. Yes, they have some issues when it comes to defensive rotations and the ability to fall back. But when they get going and they don't let up, it leads to stuff like this. They're a freight train rolling downhill. It's just so hard to stop them. And that's going to be sent in the corner up for a challenge. It is Omni Nation who wins it. You can thank Percy for that. Porklet now trying to follow in pursuit to extend this play. Great demo. Ball still at Omni Nation now. <laughs> Another. You've awoken the dragon. <laughs> and that ball hits off the back wall. Now waiting. It's a dangerous clear. Jordan now falls back in goal, has no boost, however. Percy now is going to carry it right over midfield, flicked it above one, wasn't able to get it above the second, still dangerous in their hash. This could be a goal if they're not careful, but it will get knocked away. Magic Bear timing it, playing it perfectly. The Zookeeper is starting to get a little more aggressive here. Minute and a half to go, but it's going to be so difficult to find three goals. It's basically one every 30 seconds. And <laughs> Magic Bear taking Tool out in mid-air, just off that ball. And the pass forward to him. Good shot forward, going to waterfall down, but Tool reads it perfectly. Have to start feeling the panic just a little bit for Zookeepers. A minute left. Of course, series is by no means over by any stretch of the imagination, but you're down by three. Realistically, you need to go about now to make this somewhat of a possibility. As Magic Bear just sits it up into the corner to burn some time. He has a teammate at midfield. Here comes an opportunity. Could they follow it up? Zookeepers with a spike down. Here comes Bambi, and it gets knocked away. Last minute by Magic Bear. And Percy tries to go up for the contest. No, sir. We'll see you in the other corner as Zookeepers now have control. Now, this one going to go in favor of Omni Nation. I love the turnaround from game one to game two that we saw here. And Jordan getting another one here, second of the game. He's also got two assists to boot. Right place, right time. Job well done, Omni Nation. Closing out game two, up by four. And as we move into game three, I know it's a little bit preliminary, but I feel, still think it's important to talk about what Omni Nation are we gonna get in game three? Are we gonna get this one? Or are we going to get a bit of a timid offensive push that we saw in game one? And you had to tip your heads to Zookeepers on that. Honestly, the ball is completely in the Zookeeper's court. They saw what Omni Nation changed from game one to game two. Percy getting a hat trick here in game two. The goals just keep piling up for Omni Nation. Now, Subi, if you could expound upon that note you made a little bit earlier, kind of pulling a player out of defense for Zookeepers. Omni Nation was able to make it basically a three on two in the goal. What are you seeing from them? Is it just their ability to play bait players out of the box or is it more of they've kind of found ways to create holes for Zookeepers that they can't respond to? Oh, they're just creating holes, just making Swiss cheese out of the defense and their accuracy is on point right now. I mean, Jordan, first week coming into the Rival Series last week, coming in shooting 33%. That's just the guy showing he's got an iron gullet and Coming in, firing shot after shot, seven from Percy. Jordan, four of them, you know, shooting 50% here. The Omni Nation was on fire, and when you're playing a 3v2 half the match, it's pretty easy to hit that open net. And of course, Magic Bear had one goal, two assists, two shots, two saves. He did everything. That's exactly what you needed from him, especially looking at how last week turned out. You need him to come in. Even if you're not scoring six, seven goals, you need to get involved. He did it there. That's exactly why this team is formidable.
And looking at Zookeepers, I wasn't as impressed. Of course, the scoreline kind of reflects that. They they were caught back on defense a couple of times, caught slipping. But the important thing to note is that Omni Nation kind of looks like they've woken up a little bit. And now we're looking at a game three where momentum is everything. Of course, Omni Nation won last week 3-1. And they move into this series now tied at one apiece. This is a swing game for either team. You really have to come out and strike early, continue to put insurance goals on the board, and you could be looking at a 2-1 edge. Well, I think what we saw from Game 2 was kind of what we saw from Zookeepers last season, just a lack of offense. Game 2, they only totaled five shots as a team. And, I mean, yeah, they weren't on the field for half the time because they kept getting demoed all over the place, yeah. but... Omni Nation were the ones making that happen. For you're on the zookeepers, you kind of say, you know what? Let's take a page from their book. Let's fight fire with fire. Let's just go for demos ourselves and see what happens. We'll turn it into a 2v2 if we have to. And it's easy to have good offense when you have good defense. Problem is you need both to have a successful recipe for success. Somewhere in there is an English sentence you guys can work out amongst yourselves. <laughs> Jordan now sends it up. And Percy's going to carry this one. And it gets knocked away back into the corner of Omni Nation as they have control again. Tool looked to make something happen, but it wasn't there. Booming clear before Porklet punches it into the corner. And now Bambi sends it back to midfield for Tool, which was a good passing lane, but it's punched away. And Percy gets the last laugh by knocking it into the corner. I wouldn't mind seeing more of that from the Zookeepers. Just putting a shot on target from See midfield, a transition shot. Exactly, you're forcing the defense to make a play on it. And eventually, they're going to make a mistouch that it, you can capitalize on. It builds good karma, being able to get out of your own half consistently. You never know what will fall through. No, I think karma plays game four today. If I could slap my knee, I would. That was really good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Bambi now going to be at midfield, falling back on defense. And that's going to be off the back wall. Another demo by Magic Bear. Now a 3-2 advantage for about a second. And back to full numbers is both sides. Porkland now Holy following. Holy cow! Where did that power come from? Percy's been doing his bench press, obviously. Didn't look like anything until all of a sudden, bang. 71 miles per hour from the elbow. My goodness, that's just disgusting. Those Good luck. Catch you off guard. Good doesn't luck matter. saving that. Doesn't matter if you're casting it, if you're playing it, that'll catch you off guard. And that's dangerous. That is a dangerous goal to have in game three. Another demo by Magic. Porkland now centering it. But Bambi couldn't control it. It's going to be a pass into the corner by Tool. Let's see who's able to get there first. It's going to be a shot off the bank. And it gets knocked away. Still a good challenge contest from Omni Nation. They get it back in the Zookeeper's half. They've done such a great job of just finding ways to be annoying on the top of the pitch. And now you're looking at a situation where they're going for an insurance goal. It's going to be knocked away at the last second. Magic Bear does get the touch. Porklet trying to follow over. He doesn't get the double tap. And it's still up for Omni Nation to control. Oh, this is a dangerous ball. Those are hard saves. Good touch from Tool there to put it into the corner. Over to his team and allow Portlet to go up and get this ball at top of the box. But Jordan's back there waiting patiently. They continue to burn time. Here comes a shot. No sir, blocked away. You have three players there. Here comes a follow-up. Portlet bumped another player while going for that challenge. But it will be Percy who gets a flick over. That could have been big. But Bambi saves it in time. Now off the back wall, Omni Nation looking to follow it up. Oh. <laughs> A team bump coming out from Tercy, Tercy, Percy and Magic Bear there. No, sir. Pushed into the corner. And again, Omni Nation find ways to get shots down on goal. And even if they don't connect, they're still at midfield to follow it up. It's just great execution from Omni Nation. This is what we expected from them. Zookeepers looking to respond with a goal to tie this game up. And they need something now. You can't let this game dwindle away like you did game two. That's going to be off the back wall. Is anyone going to be able to follow up? No. Dangerous. Off the top of the post. It goes for a challenge. It does get stuffed in the box. And down in the corner, Bambi can't control it. And here comes an opportunity before Tool knocks it away. That was a beautiful swat from Jordan there, just turning that shot completely away. Tool was looking for a demo there. The great pass comes out. And Porklet there for the finish. Zookeepers tie up game three. They needed to do it now, and they did it. They capitalize, they execute, they find a way. A minute 33. Still plenty of time for either side, but you need something to respond to. 
You need some momentum. Game two wasn't as close as you would have liked. And now could be a quick goal in transition off the faceoff. But for now, they stall it out. Now Tool's gonna set up for a teammate, up for a challenge. Who's gonna win it? It will be Omni Nation and it will be a goal. Percy, hello. Welcome to the party. There's a quick goal for you. And a triple commit coming out for the Zookeepers right there at midfield. Percy sees it and just shoots that one between the sticks, giving Omni Nation the late lead. We talk about punishing when having control of midfield. That's probably the number one part in the textbook you're going to want to turn to. The ability to win the faceoff, continue to put pressure in midfield, and find a way to create an opening is what separates Omni Nation from a bunch of other rosters. Their biggest problem has been defense, but for now, their offense has taken care of that ailment. That's a nice booming hit up to the top of the ceiling. As Porklet responds, going to send it down, but it's knocked away. Magic Bear and Percy having good control of their own side. And it's out of the box for now, back to midfield as Jordan tries to follow up. Still on the side of the wall for anyone to grab, but it will be Omni Nation. Here comes another hit off the side of the wall and back into the corner before Tool tries to get a flip over. Nope, this could be dangerous. And Porklet's gonna carry with 30 seconds left. They gotta get a score here. Woo, Magic Bear baits by one, gets a flick around the second in numbers. Coming out from Omni Nation, good touch from Percy, forcing Porklet to dive on the goal line. But this is it, last chance coming out for the Zookeepers. Then Tool gonna push that one in, no! Turned aside by Magic Bear. The defense standing strong for Omni Nation. You needed a lucky bounce, it doesn't come. You got one second. And that should do it. Oh, you need something like that to bounce your way. Unfortunately, it does not. Omni Nation survived by the skin of their teeth to take game two. Now up 2-1 in the series. This is very reminiscent of what we saw last week. And Zookeepers got aggressive a little too late. Oh, and you gotta feel for them in that situation. I mean, if this is American football, that that's good. That's good because that ball was across the goal line yeah. there. But Rocket League, the whole thing's gotta be in the net. And it was just inches away from going in. And then another shot came and Omni Nation, as a team, were there as just a brick wall, not allowing anything to go in. Yeah. The defense is the difference maker right now for Omni Nation. Zookeepers cannot do anything to get past that. That's one of those lucky bounces you really need to fall your way. <laughs> I mean, whether or not it's early game, not late game, you can't bank on that to happen. They get a little bit aggressive, and it doesn't pay off. It's, of course, we were kind of harping on them throughout the game, saying you guys need to sort of make a momentum push. You need to start getting a presence at midfield. They weren't able to do it. Omni Nation, a couple of good hits, and that booming clear did connect. But... Still, I mean, I'm impressed with Zookeeper's defense for the start, but it's just been lackluster offense. We need good defense to pair with good offense, and that leads to positive results all around. We haven't seen that yet, and maybe if they get a little bit more aggressive in Game 3, that lucky bounce will fall for them. That Yeah, aggression was what I was going to hone in there. you got to go through, and when you're rotating out of the zone on offense, look for a de defender to bump or yeah. demo or just get out of the picture regardless. That's the only way they're gonna disrupt Omni right now because the infield passes aren't working. The passes trying to transition from defense to offense into an immediate shot, that's not working. So you have to try something different here in game number four. Your backs are against the wall. If you lose this one, you're going down to 0-1 in the Rival Series. Well, it's series point for Omni Nation looking to go up 2-0 in the Rival Series. Of course, like you just heard, this is Zookeeper's final game to really make a stand if you wanna push this series the distance. Let's see if they can switch up their own individual meta and try to get a little bit more aggressive. Well, Percy wants none of it. Here comes a follow-up from Magic, but it's going to be sent the other way. And on defense was Jordan. They stall for now. They get control of their own hash. Here comes a shot, but Magic Bear is going to say, no, sir. Now back into the corner, off the back wall. No one's going to follow up for Zookeepers. They do miss a hit. And now they have to fall back on defense as one player is out of rotation. Oh, great pass. The shot just off target, needed to get that underneath the crossbar. Couldn't quite find his mark, and Parklet carries it all the way downfield. And one thing that we were talking about in game one that Zookeepers was doing really well was taking the boost away from Omni Nation, and that hasn't been present in games two and three. And along with some demos, I think if they go for boost deals a little more, 
that's another way that they can slow Omni Nation down. It may seem rather textbook, but the more boosts you steal, the less likely it is they're going to keep flying into your half. So if they can find a way to do that again, that could have been a really big momentum swing. It wasn't able to connect, but you got to think that Zookeepers knows this. They have to find a way to slow down Omni Nation, slow down that assault. Here comes another challenge. Porklet on his lonesome. Bambi to follow suit. He's going to try and extend this play off the back wall. But he gets sent back towards midfield before Tool stalls it out. Here comes a follow-up. Knocked away. Back to midfield we go. Oh, Bambi was looking to come in. Got demoed by Jordan. Here's Percy. One-on-one. -on -one, looking for a double tap. Turned away by Tool. Good defense here coming out from the Zookeepers. Another shot opportunity. Knocked away. Tool does get it out. Percy now trying to control the pitch. It's bumped up. Good play by him. Here comes a possibility for a double touch. No. Set oh. away again and off the back of Bambi. That's what we're talking about. Zookeepers, welcome to game three. Bambi gets the first initial pass, comes off the backboard, and Bicycle kicks it into the goal. Man, I love highlight reel goals. Welcome to game four is the correct way to say that. Beautiful play, and that's some of the luck we were talking about. They need a lucky bounce. That could have been it. That could be the one to break the gates open. But for now, you still have to look at Omni Nation, their ability to create plays on the fly. This game is far from over. 2.23. All the time in the world. Here comes another shot opportunity just off the left post. Porklet sends it up into the corner, and Tool will grab control of it for now. No one to follow up as Magic tries to push it up. Again, stalling in their base is Omni. Looking for an opportunity to clear it out. Magic Bear trying to make anything out of nothing. Nice ceiling pinch, but the very difficult read. Magic Bear was up for it. Didn't get the touch, and boom. There goes the ball from Porklet, but that one's just going to be handed right back to Omni Nation. There it is. There's the transition pass coming out of a defensive end. But. Omni Nation waiting patiently. Minute 40 to go in this match. They're still looking to find one goal, but plenty of time to work with. It's basically the reverse of what we saw earlier. Here's a nice shot up. Sent away. Back into midfield. Omni Nation looking like Zookeepers oh. from game two. That could be dangerous right off the back of the wheel. Bambi sends it right down long. It touches off one defender, but it doesn't matter. It was too hot. 56 is just enough. And there it is. Omni Nation got caught slipping. We saw it earlier in the game, or earlier in the series, rather, where all three members were pushed up, and that's exactly what happened. That clear just went over their head, and now they're chasing two. It's going to be a difficult one, and if they, if they can't do it, we're looking at game five. I think it's pretty safe to say we're going to go to game five. That's a sure. bold statement. It, it is. I know. I think that's a pretty rare prediction. But I think whoever scores more goals here, if they're down in the series, will see a game five. That's fair. But one of the things that you have to take away from this is just kind of the flip that Zookeepers has done in Omni. Omni Nation playing very, very timid, having to sit back on defense because they haven't found an opening at midfield. Zookeepers punishing them. Relentless. There it another is. demo. Another demo. Two in a row. Back to full numbers for both sides, but it doesn't matter. You got 30 seconds. What can they make happen? Nothing. An awkward carry leads to nothing. <laughs> Jordan was looking for the bump on Bambi. Magic Bear probably let him know that shot was on target, but unfortunately could not make contact and. 15 seconds to go. This is nothing but looking for some style points for Zookeepers as they are going to force game number five. I think it's only fitting that this would go the distance. You have some defensive issues, some offensive issues for both sides. We're looking at game five. You know, I'm, I'm impressed with both sides. I'm impressed with Zookeeper's ability to bounce back to respond after the last couple of games. I'm impressed with Omni Nation's relentless attack. Not as impressed with defense on either side, but it's been back and forth this whole series. I mean, we're looking at a game five that really tells the tale of this whole series. It's been back and forth consistently, and no one's really been able to break away, and that's what I take away from this so far. 
And another thing that I'm going to take away from this, someone other than Porklet scored in this series for yeah. the Zookeepers. Up until that point, through three games, Porklet was the only one scoring for Zookeepers. Bambi comes in, steps up, gets two for him, and that's all they needed with, to force a game five. Now, yeah. I'm just looking at Tool. He hasn't shown up since game one. He got two assists there, but two, three, and four, absolutely quiet. He is doing his part on defense, absolutely, but... I want to see a little more offense from them, and I absolutely think that they can take down Omni Nation. Maybe that's really what you need. I mean, everyone's been quiet, all except Porklet. Now, Bambi shows up, gets two good hits, gets two goals. It's a completely different ball game. We're going to game five. Zookeepers, you want to come out, you want to start the season hot, you want to make amends for last year, you have an opportunity to tie your record. This could be it. Omni Nation, you have to stay aggressive. We didn't see that really in, in the last game. Game two and three, they had it, but Right now, I mean, it's just, it's been all of Zookeepers. Again, I mean, just back and forth, back and forth we go. I'm just so impressed with the ability of Zookeepers to continue to find a way to adjust and take what we said to heart, whether or not, obviously, they're able to hear it. But regardless, they're slowing down Omni Nation. It's done just enough. Moving into game five, who's going to strike first? The faceoff was won by Zookeepers, but it's back into Omni Nation's corner. And for now, that ball is still up down a little bit dangerously as Porklet comes over top. Where is Bambi? Tool at midfield. And it's passed out, but Porklet has to fly back. Here comes Bambi over the top, but he isn't able to connect. On a bomb downfield for Magic Bear, but good carry from Tool to put it into the corner. And the infield pass was there, but Percy a little too far back, and good challenge there by Porklet to keep it in midfield. Zookeepers not making a misstep here in Game number five, 40 seconds have gone by, but man, they've controlled the pitch up and down. It's another demo in favor of Zookeepers. Make that two now at three on one. Here's an opportunity, but you only got about another half second. Goodbye, back to full numbers we go. Bambi trying to carry it overneath. There goes a shot into the corner. And it's stripped away from Zookeepers for the time being. And Zookeepers continue to get those boost deals in the back corner, grabbing the big boost pads. That's on target. Great challenge there in midfield from Percy. And Omni Nation squeeze one from mid -hat, midfield. Fortune favors the bold. Those lucky bumps will favor whoever is more aggressive on the hit. Congratulations, Omni Nation. Rhyming has been my number one thing. You now are up 1-0 in game five. Can Zookeepers respond? That is the big question. What has changed from last season? What are we gonna see that's different? Now is your opportunity to shine, and now is your opportunity to strike. Back up into the corner, Tool's gonna follow it down. He's gonna carry, Porklet does get a hit. It's gonna send it all the way to Omni. Percy, though, will send it back to midfield. Will Tool will meet it, and that's a demo in favor of Omni. Now make that Open. two. Open. Oh, Tool comes at the last second. Able to spawn in and get the save on that ball. They're not out just yet. Jordan was looking for a demo on Bambi, who was already in the air. And Omni Nation starting to get to work. The whirlpool of rotations are starting to progress, and here comes the pass. But Porklet reads that perfectly. But Bambi cheating up at midfield, maybe looking for a pass, but putting his team down on defense in a 3v2 scenario. Omni Nation really reminds me of Weedham Girls and the fact they get up a goal and they don't hesitate to go for another. They share similarities there, but they do lack some defensive prowess. Bambi gets a hit up. Here comes another opportunity for Omni Nation before it's sent back to midfield and into their half. Porklet over the top. He could have an opportunity to punch it down. He's not able to do it. No boost. Who else is going to be there? Oh. Tool, no. Punched out by the top of the post. And it'll punish you if you don't get a good shot down. Oh, and Percy's got an opportunity. Ball on his hood gets the flick, but Tool reads that perfectly, pre-jumps it, and Porklet gonna run downfield with this one. Jordan Lex to just go up that side wall, play it slow. Good, smart play coming out from Omni Nation on defense. Stalling is Omni Nation. They have control of midfield for now. That's a hit up, but it's gonna be easily taken away. Now Magic Bear follows off the back wall. Who else is gonna be there? They win the challenge, that's Percy. It wasn't good enough to set up a passing opportunity. Now Porklet has an opportunity, but it's knocked away. Magic Bear coming over the top to steal that one. The transitions from the Zookeepers have been perfect here in the last 
half of gameplay, that is for sure. They're passing the ball down to a teammate, able to push it onto offense. And look at this pass. Porklet for Tool does get cut off, but you're forcing Magic Bear to go up. He's using a ton of boost. And now Magic Bear looking to transition into offense, gets that boost deal, and that's a little payback right there. They're looking to convert it into a goal. They want to tie this up, of course. Porklet with a hit up. Who else is going to be there to meet it? It will be Magic Bear who sends it back into blue territory. Tool now carrying. No one else is there. It seems like these one-on-one -on -one hits don't really lead to anything. You do have players on defense, but what else are you going to bring? When's the hammer going to come down and strike? Bambi couldn't carry it. That's a poke out. Yeah, 50 seconds to make a play. Good demo, but a misplay in the corner. Going to lead to disaster. Bambi. There for the save, 40 seconds to go. Zookeepers looking for a goal, but Jordan meets that ball in mid-air. Zookeepers still have the ball, but still have yet to put a good shot on target. Porklet was demoed, so that cut off any access towards a pass from the top. Porklet looking for boost. Oh, that's a long hit downfield. Oh, it could have been a good touch, but no, sir. Jordan knocks it away. Jordan now looking to get a second hit. Jordan knocks it up for Magic. Magic now carrying, but it's pushed out by Tool. Percy punches it into the corner. Tool comes over top. Oh, right idea. Porklet now hitting it back up for a teammate. No one's going to follow. They need a booming clear, and this game is over. One second, you can't touch the ground. This could be series, and it will be. Omni Nation. 2-0 in rival series. They close it out with just one goal. That's all they needed.